What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, House of the Dragons, episode number six. And it's going down. It, I mean, it went down. Green Wedding, yeah. that's what we're calling it. Yeah. The Green Wedding. Yeah. <sighs> uh, this is wild. This is, everything that's going on is just absolutely wild. And I feel like at the core of it, we've got like this conflict brewing between Allison and Rhaenyra. And Allison's being fed all this information. The conversation that she had with her dad, Otto, on the way out, talking yeah. about how your children are going to be the ones in danger of all of this situation if Rhaenyra takes the throne because the threat of your children to her throne and all this stuff and the way he kind of just went out and just kind of planted that seed. And then Laris Strong, that's his name, Laris Strong. Correct, correct. He had this information for her, which again, these little bits of information keep getting like passed on to Allison. And I feel like it's influencing her. Because he's like, oh, hopefully the, the princess isn't sick. And I heard that they brought her some tea. And it's like, wait, what? How did you find that information out? And all this stuff's going on. And then when she went to go talk to Kristen Cole about Damon, she didn't spit it out right away. And Kristen Cole just completely buckled. It was like, it was me. I did it. I, I hooked you up with her. You could have held it together it's for like, like two damn. more minutes. It's like, damn. Just Allison just, like, she was being hesitant wanting to ask the question. Yeah that Kristen Cole's just like, nope, it was me. And this dude's hurt because he pitched this idea to Rhaenyra about running away, getting married, and doing this whole really romantic life together and all that. And she kind of shot him down just because the throne is bigger than everyone and she's the future and all this. And it just wasn't an option for her. And we see at the end of this episode where it's one of those things that was left open, which this show is doing a really good job of leaving a lot of things kind of open to interpretation. Mm -hmm. And I feel like what went down at the end of this episode is one of those things because we see Joffrey, who is Lenor's partner, and he knows everyone's secret. And he goes up. I, I thought this was a really bad idea, by the way. Honestly. But he goes up to Cole and was like, hey, you know, we love them. We should protect them. And gave him the spiel about, like, protecting the, each other's secrets. But then later in the celebration, he ends up beating his head in and kills him. And you don't really see what sparked or started that argument or the fight or whatever went down. But you just see Kristen Cole bashing his head in, killing him. And then at the end, he's about to kill himself and Allison comes and stops him. So it feels like one of those things where Allison and, you know, Kristen Cole is going to form this alliance now, yeah. potentially, and see where that goes. I feel like there's just going to be constant conflict growing between these two former best friends right. because of everything that's at stake. Again, all the stuff that Rhaenyra was doing, all the information that Allison's been given. And, you know, I'm also seeing, we're at the point of this show now where we're seeing clear sides being taken. I'm kind of just going to sit in the middle and just watch all the drama play out and enjoy it. But there's clearly Team Allison and there's clearly Team Rhaenyra going on right now. So it's going to be really interesting to see how this relationship continues to grow as things develop and information is revealed. And like, they just, I feel like they just need to be completely honest with each other and stop holding back truths and well, reveal things that are going on. And That's never going to happen. It's We're just all just going to be passive aggressive towards each other. That's what it's going to be. I mean, they're, they're young, living in a really chaotic moment because, again, we continue to see King Viserys super sick and it felt like he died. I, but I don't think he's dead. I think he is dead. But then again, they might do this whole season of him dying, 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 dying. And then if they happen to have a penultimate episode like they do with the regular Game of Thrones, yeah. then I think he would die the second to last episode. And then the very last episode, Rhaenyra does whatever Rhaenyra is going to do. Yeah, we saw him drop twice early in the episode at the very end. And I don't think they'll kill Viserys off that way. I feel like his death is going to be really important and really impactful on the show because of how much weight the next heir brings to this situation. I and I don't know if they would do it on a wide shot of him just falling at the end of an episode. But it, who knows? It, it could have been a crazy hanger and be like, oh my god, what happened to King Viserys? Because again, Rhaenyra is supposed to be the one taking the throne, but we have Aegon, who's the firstborn son of him, and everyone's going to want him and all this stuff. And just, there's so many players now involved, and they were supposed to have the wedding they were supposed to have like a celebration, and then like it's after a week, be more than just the one day, right? 
But they rushed, after that fight, they rushed the wedding and Rhaenyra and, and Laenor got married. And so now the Valerians now have a stake in this whole situation with Rhaenyra becoming the heir and the future, her future kids having a stake because they made a deal with King Viserys that they'll take the Valerian name up until the point that they sit on the throne and then they'll become Targaryens because I think it was a good move in a sense, to not let the Targaryen name end with Rhaenyra. Right. And, you know, it was a smart play. And Lord Corlys was on board with it. So I feel like we're going to... I kind of talked about this, like, civil war almost because it feels like we've got, like, the Valerians and Targaryens on one side, and then we're going to have Alicent with Aegon and, like, the people on the other because people, the people are going to want Aegon. So I, I feel like we're building towards... There's going to be so much conflict. Like, it's Game of Thrones and the fight for the throne and power and this and that just we're building towards something pretty wild so i've been super digging the first handful of these episodes i again love how open to interpretation they make a lot of these stories because right. i'm just super curious to see where it goes and of course we got to talk about damon because the way this dude walked into the celebration was just like i'm like, a boss like he owns the fucking place i love this dude i think he is so interesting he is such a fascinating character and that whole situation at the beginning with his we actually met his wife, the bronze bitch, which... She looked was, like a lovely person. Yeah, very rude. Lady Rhea. That whole situation was really interesting because on first immediate watch, it looks like he kind of sparked the horse to kick her off. But it, I actually watched it a couple times in like slow-mo, and it looks like he went to go help. But like she went to grab her bow, and that's like sparked the horse to like react. I don't think it was so, that. I think Damon spooked the horse. I don't think he did. I, I think... I Damon is made some very questionable decisions. I don't think he's a bad dude. I just think he makes questionable decisions. We know he loves his family. I, I just think he's a really good bad dude. I mean, I I feel like everyone in this in this show currently is like almost in the gray with the exception of like Viserys where he's like a really good ruler, but like I feel like everyone else is in this weird gray area doing bad things and some good things, some bad things and I don't know. I, I don't know where Damon falls because, again, from what we've seen from him up to this point in the show, you would think he's, like, one of the main antagonists and, like, he's a bad guy. But, again, it's one of those things that left open for interpretation. What was his intent of showing up there like that? I don't know. I think that's a really good question. <laughs> because, again, when, when Damon's not talking, I feel like at this point you got to be a little nervous. I think he <laughs> went there to... Like, this is some type of analogy to pee all over everything. Mm. I own this shit, you know? Yeah, I don't know what his... We talk about was, this extensively you know. on the podcast. Yeah, so it's going to be interesting again to see what his impact continues to be in this. Because we know what his ultimate intent is. I feel like he has a lot more information in that brain of his that he lets on to for others to believe. So, like, yes, his intent is clear. But I feel like there's something else brewing there. And yeah. again, he's been the most interesting character to this point. He is fascinating. He's scary. He seems really cool, too, in moments. So, like, just the way he kind of handles things, walks in. Allison shows up, the queen. He's the only one not standing. He's just kind of sitting there just like, whatever. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So, it's kind of fun. Like, he's a total rebel. And he's very impulsive. So, that makes him a giant wild card in almost every situation that he shows up to. So, there's a lot playing out. There there's is. a lot going on. I got my eyes on a lot of characters because, you know, they're kind of saying things and delivering messages that make you kind of question a lot. So I don't know if I hit on everything, but that's going to wrap up this intro and we're going to get to the episode. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. What is happening? And push. I mean, clearly giving birth. Yeah, but... <laughs> oh, the sounds. The oh, boy princess. Princess. <laughs> Kicking like a goat, princess. It's like a goat? Is that. Kicking like a goat. Look at that precious baby. Fresh. Princess. The Queen has requested that the child be brought to her immediately. Why? I'll take him myself. You should remain a bed, Princess. Yes, I should. Help me dress. Dude, she literally pops a kid out and then... Is that supposed to be Rhaenyra? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, it's coming. The afterbirth. Oh my god, dude. You gotta try to put on a dress after that? Oh, the sounds, though. A boy. I've just had. Yes. Oh, so these are like the grown Rhaenyra and the grown Lenore? Big time jump. I knew this was happening at some point. I didn't think it was happening in this season. I'm kind of upset about this. Just have to see how it plays out, I guess. It's like a new show. Princess, Selena, it is a privilege to be amongst the first to congratulate you. How much of a time jump is this? I don't like know. 10 plus years? Could you imagine minutes after giving birth had to move? Fuck no! Walk? I was a destroyed. <laughs> Princess? Well, he's still... Cole is still there. In his position. So he didn't suffer any penalty for murdering a dude at their wedding celebration? Mm -mm. Shit. Rhaenyra, you should be resting after your labors. I have no doubt that you would prefer that, Your Grace. I mean, they got pretty good older actors to fit. Oh, yep, there he is. Where is he? What the fuck? Not only did he live, but he went on to live a while. Yeah. A fine prince. Sturdy. You will make a fearsome knight. So many questions. They don't have a name yet. We haven't spoken. Joffrey. E e excuse me? It's an unusual name for Valerian. I think that's a bad idea. Another Joffrey. Oh, no. Nothing good happens to Joffreys, as we've learned so far. Two for two. No, fuck, I don't like this shit. I mean, that boy is now a threat, right? Right. Do you keep trying, Selena? Sooner or later you may get what it looks like you. What the fuck? That was kind of rude. <laughs> Damn, Allison. You don't think to consult me before you name my child. He's our child, is he not? If any one of us is bleeding. I deserve some say in the affairs of my own family. He doesn't seem so interested in our affairs, do they? Is she bleeding the whole way? Oh, shit. Oh, damn, dude. She literally just gave birth. Okay, yeah, remember how I wasn't Team Allison last episode? I'm still not Team Allison. This is bullshit. Mother, look. Oh, there's a whole bunch of children and a new egg. We chose an egg for the baby. Oh, are those all Sir Kristen Cole's kids? Or whoever that is? <laughs> Not every day an egg leaves the dragon pit princess, I thought it best. Lena and I thank you, Commander. Another boy, I heard. Those are his kids, huh? So Harwin wishes to be introduced to Joffrey. Joffrey, is it? Mm -hmm. Father, please may I hold Joffrey? No, back to the dragon pit for you too. Allison clearly knows with that statement. Like, maybe one day you'll get one that looks like you. That's so fucked up. I mean, it was part of their arrangement. You sleep in front of the commander of the city watch. Terrible lack of respect. A certain insolence runs in the family, I'm afraid. So, how much do you think that Cole is sleeping with the queen now? You think and they have that relationship? now the commander is baby daddy. Oh, hello. Is that a baby dragon? I love this. Oh, cool. <laughs> Cold dragon. armor to heal, princess said. The highest. Vernix. Instead of getting a bicycle in Game of Thrones, you get a dragon. <laughs> oh, okay, shit. I don't want to. Well, they gotta eat. No, I know, but I don't want to see it. It's like fucking Jurassic Park. <laughs> Basically. He's like, I'm hungry. 
Dracardis Vermax. <laughs> oh, bitch. <laughs> I don't need. That That's pretty instant. It's fine. Dragonfire decimates. <laughs> and lunchtime. You're the only one of us without a dragon. And we felt badly about it. So we found one for you. <laughs> Behold, the, the pink, pink dread. dread. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> Just brothers being brothers. <laughs> Is that Aegon? The right. oldest? Where are you going, dude? I can't see shit. Got some lights up in this bitch. Oh, big dragon. Oh my god. Oh, oh. That's beautiful. And horrifying. And horrifying, correct. Damn. Yeah. I'm gonna need like an official like lineup and introduction of all these kids. Mm-hmm. Cool. Your grapes. Aemond. Aemond? He did it again. Your obsession with those beasts goes beyond understanding. They gave me a pig! They said they found a dragon for me. It was a pig. You will have a dragon one day. They all laughed. I have raised this matter before. To have one child like that is a mistake. To have three is an insult. I had a black mare once. One day, she escaped her pasture, and the neighboring stallion sighed a foal on her. The stallion was as silver as the moon on a winter's night. And the foal, when it was born, just the most unremarkable brown horse you ever saw. Nature is a thing of mysterious works. He doesn't want to believe it, or what? No, he's in denial. How do you know? The silver stallion. How do you know it was him? Did you witness the act itself? Jesus Christ. The consequences the of an allegation like the one you tore had would be dire. Do not speak of this again. Have I lost my sanity, Sir Criston? Do my senses lead me astray, or is everyone else asleep, dreaming the same woolly dream? She flaunts the privilege of her inheritance without shame. She expects everyone in the Red Keep to deny the truth our eyes can all plainly see. And the king, her father. He knows. Of course he knows. The Princess Rhaenyra is brazen and relentless, a spider who stings and sucks her prey dry. Okay, damn. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> so they hype each other up with the shit talking. I mean... <laughs> What Rhaenyra's doing isn't right. No, it's not. <laughs> Everyone's playing this game. Uh, hello? What? Is that... Whose idea was it? Oh. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> the pig. Was it your plot? She just says nothing about the fact that he was masturbating <laughs> in the window, but... Edmund is your brother. Oh, he's a twat. We are family. We must defend our own. Do you think Rhaenyra's sons will be your playthings forever? Rhaenyra will ascend the throne and Jocera's Targaryen will be her heir. So? Oh, you are nearly a man grown. How is it that you can be so short-sighted? If Rhaenyra comes into power, your very life could be forfeit. She can move to cut off any challenge to her succession. Then I won't. You me. are the challenge! Oh. You are the challenge, Egon! Simply by living and breathing! Holy shit. You are the king's firstborn son. And what they know, what everyone in the realm knows, in their blood and in their bones, is that one day you will be our king. Just jerking it in the window, though. <laughs> what was his plan? For, like, what was he looking at? What was he? I don't know. What was happening there? So he feel like the first few minutes of knowing him, he feels like kind of typical teenager. teenage kid. Well, I don't care about this. But yeah. I think that talk that he just had might have really? triggered something. Yes. Oh my God! Look at that. It's Damon. Well, look at the size of that neck. Am I right, folks? That's how you oh. know it's Damon. Dude, his dragon is absolutely insane. Oh. oh, did they get married? Look at her dragon. Honestly. 
mean, she did show a lot of interest at the wedding. She sure did. <laughs> That's cool. Just a fireball into the sky. And now he's bald because his hair is now gone. Oh. <laughs> Their hair's fireproof, didn't you know? I Daenerys showed us I that. I know, but then he should have been naked at least. <laughs> How to That's terrify dope. your entire town. Right? That's dope. Go enjoy riding on your dragons. I know, that's pretty lovely. This brings me to some business. A proposal I wish to make? Your aim is to marry one of our daughters, Your Excellence. You might have said so and spared us the history lesson. What? <laughs> I would not count myself so deserving, my Lady Lena. I wish to <laughs> offer you... How many kids do they have? Honestly. This manse I would gift to you. Outright. Tenants would pay their tributes annually to their new Targaryen lord. You would have your freedom of the city and the harbor, as befits your royal station. There are so many children now. <laughs> the Triarchy has made common cause with Corin Martell of Dawn. Oh. Dawn. Martell. Mm -hmm. Your family has dragons. My aim is to protect Pentos from the lustful eye of the Pentos, Triarchy. Yeah. Aid Pentos in this. It's a most generous offer, and one we will certainly entertain. She is gorgeous. She didn't like that, though. No, she did not. They are using us. It's refreshing, isn't it? A simple transaction. We have dragons, they have gold. We are more than this, statement. We are the blood of old Valeria. We don't belong here. Valeria is gone, we don't belong anywhere. Oh, and she's pregnant, I couldn't even tell. Yeah, well, this is the fourth dragon. I want my daughters to be raised in their homeland with their family according to their birthright. At my end, I want to die a dragon rider's death. Not that of some fat country lord. Damien and I share something in common. Girl dads! Yep. Let's go! He's got three daughters. Oh, man. That's tough. Oh my god, hormones! <laughs> I've won my first bout, Sir Christian. My opponent sues for mercy. Uh, you'll have a new opponent then, my lord of the straw. Let's see if you can touch me. You and your brother. <laughs> I mean, it's really hard to... I mean, the seed is strong, okay? The seed is strong. It's really hard to deny that <laughs> those are definitely the, the king's sons, but... Mm, Princess Rhaenyra... Mm, <laughs> Are any of her kids blonde? No. They're all dark hair. Yeah. Not Maybe they're Baratheons. I don't know. <laughs> clearly. Just kidding. Clearly, he is a Baratheon. Seems the younger boys could do better with a bit of your attention. You question my method of instruction, sir. Well, I merely suggest that jelly. method be applied to all your pupils. Very well. Just share it. Who's far with egg on? <laughs> Eldest son against eldest son. It's hardly a fair match. I know you've never seen true battle, sir, but when Steel has drawn a fair match, isn't something anyone should expect. Damn. Don't shoot. Jaceres versus Aegon. Engage. Firstborn son versus first, firstborn son. Age difference is low. Oh shit. Get him, little man. Close with him. Press him backward. They're using the children. It's a fake. Don't let him get up. Stay on the attack. They're children. No. You dare on me. They're gone. You forget yourself, Strong. That is the prince. This is what you teach, Cole. Cruelty to the weaker opponent. Oh, Your interest shit. in the Princeton's <laughs> training is quite unusual, Commander. Oh, most men would only have that kind of devotion toward a cousin or a brother or a son. Yikes! <laughs> Gotta stop talking shit. <laughs> Oh 
I mean, it was obvious, but there's the confirmation that he's daddy. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Shame on the whole of House Strong. Because I laid my hands on that insufferable coal. He is a knight of the King's Guard now. Sail, Prince. A defender of future heir to the throne. Sir, you're not in the face of Your intimacy with the Princess Rhaenyra is an offense that would mean exile and death for you, for her, for the children. Spun by the princess's rivals. People have eyes, boy. Yet his grace the king, it seems, will not accept what his eyes say. I wish my father affected a similar blindness. Have I not? These many years. And yet today, publicly assaulted a knight of the king's heart in the, in the defense of your... You have your honor, and I have mine. Dude, this shit is crazy. This is so intense. Dark rumors are hunting us, Lena. Questions about our son's parentage. Vile, disgusting insinuations. Insinuations, are they? They are our sons. Yours and mine. I have played my part here faithfully for ten years. Ten years. Ten years. I am owed. You are owed nothing. This was our agreement. I have not begrudged you, but you do not desert your post when the storm lashes. The wise sailor flees the storm as it gathers. I mean, you were, you had to know that it was going to come and bite them at some point. How old was Aegon? It was his second birthday? Yeah. So he's 12? 13? Right. Somewhere in that realm. What's going on with you, Damon? Like him being content with being a visitor and having no responsibility. Leonor has written, Rhaenyra has delivered another son. Does your brother mention if this one also bears a marked but entirely coincidental resemblance to the commander of the city watch? Dude, does everybody know? <laughs> Shit. You laud the virtues of Pentos, but you have no interest in it. You do not sleep. Well, how can I with you haunting my every move? Ouch. Life has, I know, disappointed you. Perhaps I too am not the wife you would have wished for yourself. Lena. I have made my peace. Ouch. But you are more than the statement. The man I married is more than this. He's clearly dealing with some shit. And she's kind of just being dragged along with his lack of wanting to go home and stuff. I have felt the strife between our families of late, my queen. And for any offense given by mine, I apologize. But we are one house. Long before that, we were friends. My son, Jaceris, will inherit the Iron Throne after me. I propose we betroth him to your daughter, Helena. Ally ourselves, once and for all. Let them rule together. A most judicious proposition. If Cyrax brings forth another clutch of eggs, your son, Aemond, will have his choice of them. Uh, Rhaenyra. Oh, Seven Hills. A dragon's egg is a handsome gift. The king and I thank you for your offer, and we will consider it duly. You must rest now, husband. I totally get the vibe that Allison just wanted to be like, my son, Aegon, is going to be the one taking over. Mm -hmm. That's the vibe I got. The fox speaks when it's being cornered by the hound. She is desperate now. She expects us to ignore her transgressions and for me to marry my only daughter to one of her plain-featured sons. Ouch. We're a family. Let us put aside these childish quarrels. Join hands and be stronger for it. You may do as you wish, husband. When I am cold in my grave. Oh, damn. Basically, the, over my <laughs> dead body. Oh, shit. Can you blame her for feeling Honest. this way? Okay, I get that part, but literally, get over it. <laughs> I need Allison to rise above. There's a lot of stress. I get that. And there's a lot at stake. Yeah. I just don't want her to be so petty. Yeah, it's gotten... There's just so much competition now, too, for the future. I've been talking about it almost since the beginning, 
she has gone through so much. I agree. And has been influenced by so many people. And just the constant situation with Rhaenyra's life and her life running parallel to each other. Right. There's just so much building up. And, like, her attitude sucks, but I, uh, like, I understand it. I Again, I get it. I just want her to be better than this. I wonder if she still has, like, communication with her dad. I have come to resign my position as Hand of the King. Oh. Oh, shit. The episode in the yard this morning, my son Harwin has disgraced himself, and every fishwife in King's Landing will soon be telling the tale. He's been expelled from the city, Watch. That seems punishment enough. Forgive me, Your Grace, it is not. Send him to the wall. Oh my god. Go take the black. There is a shadow over my house, and it grows ever darker. I can no longer serve you with integrity. Wow. What is this shadow? Yes, you must have your reasoning in plain language. Allison's like, say it. Mm -hmm. Say it. It was me. Oh. I cannot. Then I cannot accept this. My dear husband. I said no. You will continue in your service to the crown. Allison is not happy. No. She wanted him to hear it. I need to have a longer discussion about Allison. I mean, she's a huge topic in the podcast every single week. Yeah. Came to the conclusion last week that she's, like, she's the main focus of this show just because there's so much linked to her. Yeah. King had an audience with my father. He attempted to resign his post. And this guy, he's made it ten years. And they have private dinners to talk shit. My lord husband refused to accept. With his eruption in the yard, your brother all but confessed the truth himself. It's a willful blindness. Lord Lionel is to escort Sir Harwin back to Harren Hall to watch over his seat whilst he continues to serve his hand. The hand is compromised by the acts of his son. My father cannot give unbiased counsel to the king. It is now that I must rue the absence of my own father. He wouldn't hesitate to speak the truth to the king if Otto Hightail was still at hand. You cannot say, my queen, that your father would be impartial in this matter. No, but he would be partial to me. <sighs> in all of King's Landing, is there no one to take my side? I, I don't want her just to have like a gang of people just wanting to talk shit about Rhaenyra. I understand why she wants people to gang up and talk shit about Rhaenyra, but I just... Uh. What a collection of heroes I have before me. For your crimes, you've been sentenced to death by hanging. I am prepared to offer you mercy. Pay a little price. Oh, he's getting birds? Shit. Must push, push. Our second pregnancy this episode? Yeah. I've never seen a birth like this before. Oh, I bet you that'd be way more comfortable. Laying face down? Yeah, like on your knees. I've reached there? the limit of my art. Child will not come. What? I could lay open the womb, try to remove the infant by way of the blade. Would the mother survive it? No. They are Oh, what? Dragare! Dragare! No, the dragon's like, I don't want to. He doesn't want to. <laughs> this is the way she wants to die. She doesn't want to die during childbirth. She wants to die like this, but he doesn't want to. It's like, but mom. <gasps> Does she not have, like, the same situation as, like, the Targaryens? The dragonfire will kill her? I will return. I promise. 
I will be a stranger when we meet again. Like, they can't even say goodbye to each other Mm -mm. the way they want. Like, she's holding back the emotions. Oh my god, yeah. Big time. That's gotta be brutal. It's how and strong my father. Am I a bastard? Oh, shit. You are a Targaryen. That's all that matters. Ouch. We're finished here. We're leaving. I made a spectacle. They whisper about me in the corridor as well. I leave them to it. To Dragonstone, then? We should have left years ago. What of your position? You always said if you were absent from court, she would pour her honey in your father's ear. The wise sailor flees the storms it gathers. Lainel, bring him. We'll need every sword we can muster. Feels like Allison's getting what she wants. Yeah. So maybe she can, like, relax a little bit? Or is she gonna... Go more. Yeah. Build up more with but the power I just, and... When, okay, so when Allison talks that kind of shit, that, that, that just looks bad on the king also. I just... Maybe I am team Allison because I want better for her. Oh shit. Who did that? What are children but a weakness, a folly, a futility? Wow. Through them you imagine you cheat the great darkness of its victory. You will persist forever in some form or another as if they would keep you from the dust. But for them, you surrender what you should not. So is that Harwin and Lionel Strong that are dead now? Love stays the hand. Holy shit. Love. That's her mother. Is it down for me? He's not a very affectionate father. You've heard the stories of Harren Hall, your grace. It's built in hubris by Harren the Black as a monument to his own greatness. It is said to be a cursed place, and it passes judgment on all who pass beneath its gates. You pass judgment. The queen makes a wish. Oh, wow. What servant of the realm would not strive to fulfill it? I assume you will write to your father now? Paris. Oh. I did not wish for this. I feel certain you will reward me. Oh, shit. When the time is right. Oh, shit. Get rid of the new hand so that he can get the old one back. So that she can have somebody that sticks up for her. Oh, my God. Damn. Dude, this game that she's playing, I feel like it just, she lost control of it just now. Yeah. Like, in that last moment, like, people's deaths are a result of indirectly, but directly because of her. This Lionel Strong dude, he's giving me the... Like, I hate labeling characters from this show and, like, labeling from other characters from the original, but he's giving me Littlefinger vibes. This? Hardcore. More so, yes. Like, with the what he did last episode... He started to, like, edge towards it, but I'm like, nah, you can't just give over, like, that title to anybody. Right. Yeah, I think he gets it now. He's getting... I think he gets it. He's doing things, and he's being sneaky, and he has information, and he clearly has control, and, yeah, I feel like this dude is going to be a big player. <laughs> and right off the bat, I gotta talk about the time jump. Yeah. I knew there were two actors for Allison and Rhaenyra. What did you think about it? I was a little upset because I don't know. I just wasn't expecting it to happen like that, I yeah. guess. I thought... I mean, I understand that it has to happen because she was only 17 at the time and now she's 27. Right. She has to look different. Now. I thought that it was going to come in like 
the end of the season or the next season. I didn't think we were going to get a 10 year time jump right in this now, period. With like, based off of what we just. Children? But, like, what we just came off of from the last episode with the Green Wedding, I didn't feel like there were really any ramifications from that whole situation. Right. With the exception of Rhaenyra getting a new baby daddy. She decided to move on to someone else. Right. Um, Allison continues to get. And again, this is one of those interesting conversations because I feel like I've been talking about it since the beginning. I don't think it's by any choice of Allison that she is at the position she is because she's essentially being corrupted. Yes. The power is part of it, but the stuff that she's being told by her dad, by Lionel Strong, and then all the stuff that's going on with Rhaenyra and the fact that I think the most powerful thing that she was told when Otto was leaving was the whole fact that like your kids' lives are in danger. Right. And the fact she that She took that to heart. She took that very serious. And then we get this jump and there's Rhaenyra has three kids and they're all boys. And so it's almost like the situation where it's like, well shit, my son Aegon, who's supposed to be the heir because he's technically the firstborn son of the king, he's never gonna be in line. Because Rhaenyra is supposed to be next because that's what the king named. And she has multiple sons where it's just the fact that they're not actually, they are bastard children, Mm -hmm. which it just builds that animosity that Allison is feeling even more for what used to be a really good relationship and a really great friendship that is now essentially just nothing more than this. It feels like at this point. Got to the point where Renera is like, we're leaving, we're done. Like this is, there's no point in staying here. People know, people are talking about it. Let's just go to Dragonstone and and leave. I mean, it is, and and she even mentioned to Lenore like, we we're gonna need all the swords we could get. Yeah, bring, which means bring she's your friend. she's prepping for some kind of fight. Okay, but also she's, I think she's being kind where she's like, bring your. Bring your partner. Yeah. But on the flip side, she knows that something's coming. Something's brewing. Because, again, the moment Viserys dies, which I'm blown away that they did a 10-year time jump and that he's still alive. I thought we were going to get... I totally thought that guy was dead. Totally thought he was dead. I'm just shocked that he had so many complications in that last episode and that he almost seemed okay 10 years later. So, like, clearly whatever the Maesters were doing, it ended up working... And that's the thing about the time jumps. As much of a connection as I started to feel for Rainier and Allison's characters and what they were going through, they're the only two that got, well, yeah, they're the only two that got a character change, right? Well, Lenore also, but we had just met him, so it wasn't as impactful. But, like, the two of them, like, you really kind of started knowing them as Allison and Rhaenyra. Yeah. And then, boom, episode six, right? We're on episode six. Yeah. Like, the shift in actor- which I they I think they did a fantastic job of casting older versions of the young actors, but still, it's going to be a little bit of adjustment period. It didn't suck me out of it too much. It did a little, but bit a little for bit me. at the beginning. Yeah, for me, yeah. It, it was kind of a quick adjustment when you kind of realize what was going on. But the thing with the time jumps, and it feels like we're missing a lot of story. But that just tells me that there wasn't anything that was going on. Nothing happened with Cole after the wedding. There was no other ramifications from the stuff that went down directly after that whole situation played out. So it just everyone kind of went to live their lives happily as possible, having obviously a shit ton of kids because there are kids everywhere now. Well, I mean, Cole didn't get to because I feel like he just lives in torture now. It kind of feels that way, but it feels like he's kind of built a relationship with Allison. Well, they Be, they're buddies. Like they seem like buddies now. So I wonder if there's even a relationship there beyond just their well, gossiping and talking was... shit. It would make sense, but it'd also be really dangerous for Allison to do that. I considering don't, honestly, I think that she's better than that. I don't think that she would do that. Yeah. Honestly, I, the idea of it, you know, you got to put it out there because you wonder. But I really don't think that Allison would do that. Yeah, I 100 percent don't think she is. But again, it's just something that you throw out there and mention because possibilities. But it would make her an absolutely gigantic hypocrite to be so mad at Rhaenyra for doing what she's doing and then go to do it with the same dude. 
So like, that would be pretty insane. I think, yeah. I mean, and I don't think she's doing it. I don't think she's That's one of my things where I want her to be better than yeah. this. So, uh, in that aspect, I don't think that she would ever cheat on Yeah, I don't think she would go Viserys. there. It would be too much to lose for her in that spot. And with the way that she's, she's acting. She's smarter than that. 100%. I, I really do think she is. And I don't think she would go there. But I, I guarantee you there's going to be a ton of people who saw them hanging out and the way they were talking to each other that there's like a relationship there. I don't think there is. I think, again, I think Allison is smarter than that. And I think Allison's doing a pretty amazing job playing this game up till the point where things got a little hairy there at the end. Mm -hmm. I feel like she was doing a good job, but then Lionel Strong kind of went in and kind of made some stuff go down. And yeah. I think that was a little bit more than what Allison was prepared for. Right. So, I don't know. Again, there's a lot to be left to interpretation. There's a lot that needs to still play out and a lot of information to go down. I, this whole situation with Damon, I his mindset this episode was really interesting. He's almost, like, checked out. Like, he, like, doesn't yeah. give a shit anymore no, about gonna... anything that's going on. Yeah. He married Lena, and we saw that she was... Like kind of talking him up at the at the party in the last episode. So they ended up getting married. They had three daughters, and they had a were about to have a fourth, but there was complications with the pregnancy, and she had a desire to die a dragon fire. Like she wanted to die a dragon rider's death, and she didn't want to die in childbirth. And so me asking the question about like the whole Valerian Targaryen thing surviving the fire. Obviously she didn't, and she passed away. And <sighs> Like, Damon's just cold. It's just like he goes through the motions, and, like, his daughters were there crying and being upset, and he just kind of walked away kind of with his head down. Like, what is this dude going to do? I don't know. I, Comfort your daughters. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if he's kind of moved beyond his goals of obviously taking the throne. and. I think his impatience has just gone so far that he's just put himself, like you said, on the back burner yeah. and just, yeah, he is just going through the motions until he can make another plan, I guess. Yeah, it feels like he's checked out because he's content being a visitor in a place where he just trades dragons for gold and Pentos. doesn't really have any power or say or anything there. It's just he's a guest and he's providing a service and he's getting paid for it. I, I, it doesn't seem like something that he'd want to be content with, but at the same time, there's so much going on within the family that he probably just was like, I'm just going to leave. <laughs> I'm out of here kind of thing. So I don't know. Again, I think so much is based around Viserys' death. When this happens, I think I'm probably going to make the prediction episode nine is when Viserys dies and thing hits. That's what I mean. It's gotta be. It's gotta be like, cause what are you, what are you going to pull out for that episode? Yeah. I mean, who knows? We still got a few to get there. Mm -hmm. There's so much that could play out. There could be like another 10 year time jump for all we know. But I feel like the, the shit's going to hit the fan hard when that happens. Because again, who's going to take the throne? Rhaenyra is now leaving. Does that kind of like void her position now? Is all the stuff going on? Like, are more people going to speak? Is, is Allison going to be like, well, she left because... Like, her children aren't legitimate and this and that. Like, there's so much drama. And again, I'm just going to sit in the middle and let y'all fight and argue about Team Allison versus Team Rhaenyra. I'm all for it. I think it's absolutely entertaining. Please be respectful, <laughs> of, though. Of course. Please be respectful to yeah. each other. This doesn't got to get crazy. I, I think it's hard for me. I think it's hard to kind of, like, pick sides because the both of them have done some pretty bad things. Right. But again, I'm leaning a but little... There, but there are two definite sides. Oh, for That's sure. That's the thing. It's not like you can just be like, ah, whatever, we'll just get through it together. There are two clear, definite sides. You're either Team Rhaenyra or Team Allison. I think I, I'm... Oh, God. Am I actually leaning towards Allison I, now? I only, was totally Rhaenyra before. The only reason I'm even shifting anywhere close to Allison's side is because of how much corruption and how much stuff has been fed to her. I'm almost giving her, like, benefit of the doubt that this isn't what she intended. This wasn't her choice. Right. But I feel like it's getting to the point where... Rhaenyra forced her hand a bit. I mean, yeah. You didn't have to be so blatant. I mean, maybe pick somebody who looks like your husband. I mean, that's tough. 
I don't know. Because honestly, I mean, nobody dude, else has white hair. <laughs> no one else has white hair. You always talk about how strong the seed is. That dude's seed is strong. Strong. Every one of his sons is like, damn, that's your boy. That is your child. <laughs> Doesn't even look like Alice or uh, Rainier is the mom. Oh my God. It's well, like, damn, I mean, those are your boys. As, as a parent, you know that your first child always looks like the dad. I mean... Our daughter looks just oh, like me. A very, my babies are very beautiful, <laughs> but the oldest one definitely looks Has like Has all him. my features, dark hair the and baby, dark eyes, yeah. But the baby, she's eight. She looks, she's like, she looks like me. She is mini me, but those kids ain't yours, dude. And <laughs> there's nobody, nobody. I mean, I, Everyone feel, knows. I feel bad for, I just. Those, Everyone knows. The poor kids, man. I know. And the fact that the end, he's like, was he my dad? Like, shit, you knew at some point they were going to, like, question it with how close he is and how much involvement he has. And especially during the fight between the two eldest sons, like, he was there, like, defending him. It's like, what? Like, why Why do you care so much? Oh, it's your... That's, that's, your, your, that's, that's your, your baby. That's your son. It makes sense. So, yeah, like, things are so intense. And, again, I just can't wait to see where it goes because it seems like... Every episode, regardless of the time jump or not, the conflict between Allison and Rhaenyra just continues to grow. And it kind of, like, it feels like Rhaenyra is kind of throwing the towel there a little bit with the idea of, like, apologizing at the end, trying to have a marriage between their houses and then leaving. I feel like she kind of was like, yeah, I fucked up. Everyone knows it now. There's nothing else I could really do about it. I'm just going to leave. It almost like her kind of admitting her guilt, which is pretty wild. But, I'm just worried that her again. They spoke about it before they left. Her absence in court, right? Will I don't know. Viserys maybe out of sight, out of mind. Oh, yeah. Aegon, here you go. I think that is where Allison starts. And I again, I'm going to do it again, even though I don't want to do it. I feel like this is where Allison starts flipping that switch into becoming a Cersei type of character, to where. Al Rhaenyra is gone now. Allison's going to basically have all the control and power of the situation. Right. And depending on what happened, and she's probably going to have a very big play on who the new hand of the king is. So I feel like this is where her decision making is going to actually start labeling her into more of like a villain type of character versus up to this point. I feel like a lot of what she's done has been influenced by other people because mm -hmm. she was so young when she got put in this place and her dad used her from the very beginning to get in with King Viserys. So like a lot of it wasn't her doing, but now she's old enough to the point where I feel like her decision making is going to be very clear yeah. and she's going to start moving into that type of situation because again, we know what power does to folks in this world. Power is power. It corrupts the best of us and yeah, it's just going to be interesting to see how this continues to evolve and where it goes. And I said it, I think she's like the main player of this show. Right. I think she is the main character just because of how many different storylines and different things are connected to her. Right. Because her and Rhaenyra. That's I Her and King you. Viserys. Yeah. Her and Aegon. Like, there's so many things that she has a hand in that I feel like no one else has as many kind of connections to these stories. And now at this point... I feel like her influence is going to be massive, yes. even more than it's been in the past. So. Um, can we talk about Aegon jacking it? Oh my! Like, in the window. You really want to talk about that? Not really. I mean, that was a very bizarre. I've never seen or even thought about some. I was actually nervous he was going to step out, like we've seen. I mean, was <laughs> other people do from <laughs> yeah. a window? Yeah, it's kind of was my first thought when I saw feet standing in the window. I'm like, wait, dude's naked. Oh. His arm is moving really he's fast. He's doing that. Why? He's putting it on display. But so... For that, everyone to see or what? I think that's a little bit of entitlement. I mean... Or just being a jerk. I, like, I, I can do whatever the fuck see, I want. I just think that's just being a teenager. <laughs> just being a silly teenager who I just how, doesn't understand. I love how Allison walks in. Doesn't mention that at all. No. Doesn't say a Maybe word it wasn't the first time. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't the first time. But I Children! thought, like, hormones. I thought that was a really good episode. I, I think again, it was almost like a reintroduction, almost like a mid-season premiere, because of the new character or the new actors kind of taking over the roles for the younger actors and the giant time jump. I feel like it set a really strong foundation for 
a lot of potential conflict. Like, what is Damon going to do? What is Rhaenyra's behavior going to be? What is the impact of her actions going to do? What is Allison going to look like in the next couple episodes in terms of her behavior and stuff? How much longer is Viserys going to live? I can't imagine it being that much longer mm -hmm. with how things are going. And I just really can't wait to see what kind of chaos, because you know what it is, what kind of chaos is going to get brought on this whole world. And just with his death, with just the deaths at the end of the episode, Rhaenyra leaving her whole situation, all of that. There's so much. Yes, so, I agree. We're going to have a great podcast. I think it's going to be a lot to discuss for sure to yeah. dive deeper. Once we, I, I, the thing I love about our podcast discussions is like, we're having a good one now, but it allows the episode to digest. We could read some of y'all's comments. We take your questions and then it really kind of puts things into perspective. I get to go watch the episode two more time, two more times editing. And it just, yeah, it lets the, perspective shift a little bit and lets things and, digest so yeah and between now and our podcast i get to change my mind if i want to exactly. <laughs> which happens because immediate reactions are different than later thoughts so it's a lot of fun so yep. anything else yep. all right y'all leave your comments down below and we'll see you guys later for the next one have a good one bye